Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial. Course code U18 ME104. I am B Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids for Angle. In this video lecture, I am going to explain one problem on projections of straight lines too. The exercise is 10B projections of straight lines 2. The textbook name is NDBUT, page number 237. Let us see the problem number 2. The given problem is draw the projections of a line AB 90 mm long, its midpoint M being 50 mm above the HP and 40 mm in front of the BP. The end A is 20 mm above the HP and 10 mm in front of the BP. Show the traces and the inclination of the line with the HP and the BP. Now write the given data. Here the given uh, line is AB. It is the true length that is 90 mm here uh, one condition is given that is he has uh, given the projections for starting point and midpoint the midpoint means the total length is 9, 90 mm the half of the length is 90 by 2 that is 45 mm let us assume a is the start point and b is the end point for the given line that is a b line 90 mm so the half of the length means A is the start point, M is the midpoint. So 90 by 2 that means 45 mm. Here uh, midpoint M being 50 mm above the HP that means uh, here uh, M, projection, M point projections are given that is M dash 50 mm above the HP that means M dash means front view 50 mm above the HP small m means that is that means top view uh, this small m 40 mm in front of the vp he also given uh, a point projections that is that means a dash the end a is 20 mm above the hp that means front view point a dash 20 mm above the hp and 10 mm in front of the vp 10 mm in front of the vp means uh, top view top view point a 10 mm in front of the vp this is the given data uh, let us see the solution now first draw the xy line <coughs> we know the uh, uh, we know the end point a projections and also we know the midpoint m projections Okay, by using these two projections, uh, we will construct the and uh, full length of AB. First, draw the uh, midpoint M projections. That is M dash 50 mm above the HP. Now draw the locus line. This is the locus of M dash. Next, uh, this M dash 50 mm above the HP. Next one is uh, top view M 40 mm in front of the VP. Now draw the locus line that is 40 mm in front of the VP. This is the locus of M. Now you can also uh, locate uh, end point A 20 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of the VP. We know how to locate that point already studied in projections of point projections of points the end point a 20 mm above the hp from on x from x y line locate the 20 mm above the hp that means a dash 10 mm in front of the in front of the vp on this projector line locate uh, 10 mm 10 mm in front of the VP, this point is 
this point is a top u this dimension is 10 mm uh, we know the uh, we know the uh, full length that is ab equal to 90 mm here one condition is given that midpoint we know the uh, locus of midpoint m dash and uh, locus of m so take engineering compass and measure 45 mm length a dash as center and draw the arc on locus of m dash this is the point name is m m1 dash that means initial front view length now join now draw the line this line pass through the m1 dash now join a dash m1 dash and extend up to 90 mm this end point name is b1 dash a dash b1 dash is the initial front view length that means a b equal to true length 90 mm now uh, this is the locus of uh, locus of b dash and b1 dash now draw the projector from b1 dash to uh, locus of a this is the length of top u the name is b1 a b1 is the length of top u similarly take engineering compass and measure uh, take uh, 45 mm length a as center uh, draw the arc on locus of m this name is uh, this name is m2 and also extend this a m2 up to full length that means uh, b2 a b2 is the initial top view that means true length that equal to 90 mm now draw the locus line this is the locus of b2 and b this is the locus of b2 now draw the projector from b2 to uh, locus of a dash now give the name that is that means b2 dash this is the b2 dash here a dash b2 dash is length of front view now take engineering compass uh, take a dash b2 dash length that means length of front view a dash is center a dash b2 dash as radius draw the arc from b2 dash to locus of b1 dash uh, here this arc uh, meets uh, locus of b1 dash at b b dash point this is the b dash point now join a dash b dash this is the final front view similarly take engineering compass measure a b1 radius here this is the a b1 radius means length of top u a as center a b1 radius draw the arc from b1 to locus of b2 uh, this name is b a b is the final top u uh, here see the question show the traces and the inclination of the line with hp and the vp now first draw the traces let us see how to draw the trace for the given problem uh, you can see here that the a b the final top view uh, now you can extend this final front view up to x y line where this line meets uh, the intersecting point is h Similarly, uh, you can extend final top view up to xy line. Where this line meets on xy, uh, give the name as v. This is the v point. Now, draw the what perpendicular line from h to final top view or from v point to final front view. You can see here draw the perpendicular line from v point to 
final front view where it meets the point name is vertical trace <coughs> similarly from edge point draw the perpendicular line to final top view where this line meets final top view the point name is horizontal trace <coughs> here he also asked that uh, also uh, measure inclination of the line with HP and the VP now take your protractor or mini doppler measure initial front view with XY line that means this A dash and B2 dash this is the theta inclination with HP similarly this initial top view makes uh, angle with XY line that is pi that means inclination with VP next also measure apparent angle this is the apparent angle alpha that means final front view makes angle with XY that means al apparent angle alpha similarly this final top view makes an angle with XY line that is beta the answer is theta equal to 42 degrees alpha equal to 64 degrees pi equal to 42 degrees beta equal to 64 degrees this is the final solution for the given problem number two in engineering drawing by endeavor textbook you can see here bottom i have mentioned that all dimensions are in millimeters in your drawing sheet uh, bottom uh, every drawing sheet bottom having title sheet above title sheet uh, title uh, you must and should write all dimensions are in millimeters i hope this is very clear to everyone thank you for watching Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.